the sixth point of his schools in sustainability. It has to be beautiful. Beauty. Think about it. It's, it's how often do we talk about beauty and sustainability? And that's the thing that gets you first about Kerala is when you go there, you go, man alive, it's beautiful here. That's why National Geographic picked it as a paradise, because it's gorgeous. You know? And so the Mitronic Aiden School shaped themselves on beauty. And of course, the idea came from Rabindranath Tagore. Vishwanathan had been this lower caste. And he'd been an activist with Gandhi. And when Gandhi was assassinated, he didn't know what to do. And he was a troublemaker in the village. And he'd been beaten severely. And his father was worried he was going to be killed. And so they made a deal with the uncle. And they borrowed a tremendous amount of money. And they shipped him off to the one place that Vishwanathan, as a young man, was willing to go. And that was Shantinaketan. That was Tagore's university he had created outside of Calcutta, the great elite institution. I dare say it's the first global institute on sustainability, looking at east and west. It's where Nehru sent his daughter, Indira Gandhi. It's where all the elite of India went in the early period after independence. And Tagore said, this university is my tangible poem. He said, the children hunger for the epic, and we just give them facts. And so the idea of creating this university was this amazing place where you would have ideas. But Tagore became fed up with his universities. He said, they're all a bunch of lotus eaters, elitist. They're going back to the power structure. They don't realize that this Shantinikatan was built in a completely destroyed and deforested area itself. And so he went down the road seven miles to this mosquito-infested swamp and created a uh, Srinikatan as a rural institute and development, looking at village life. And one of the first things he did in 1928 was create the Festival of the Trees and the amazing poems. And, and of course, Tagore was this uh, <coughs> incredible icon, you know, with the idea of beauty and, the, and the, the glory of trees. And Tagore, of course, has been written off as this kind of flowery, beaded, you know, this uh, kind of uh, a guru with this super long beard and his white robes, and he was gorgeous, and all the women were in love with him. And he won the Nobel Laureate in 1930. 13, excuse me, and everybody thought he was sort of the great uh, mystic. And they didn't realize that Tagore's great value in India was as an educator. The only man on this planet who wrote two national anthems for Bangladesh and India, who had his own music form, who had his own painting form, who wrote scores of, of novels and collections of stories and whatnot. But he said, what is most important to me was that little rural institute to see how we can live in beauty in our villages. And Vishwanathan took this back to Mitranaketan. 